Hi. One of the perks of working in Kuman's studio is that I can watch them make their videos. Oh, it seems like they are playing a trivia game. Oh my god, I think they pressed it at the same time. Kids, kids, stop fighting! Come on, you don't need to tear each other apart for every question. I'll do it for you. I push the button. Give me this. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. I what is this junk anyway? I should improve this. You guys don't have to shove yourself in my video every time I'm trying to make something for you. You took our video. Don't you guys have like a music video or something to release? We already did. Well, it's not bad. Fine, let's see what we have to do for this buzzer. Does that make So I'm thinking this system shouldn't be just about okay. detecting who pushes first, but also about punishing anyone who pushes last what? by electrocution. Go so you're only safe if you are first. Then perhaps <laughs> you shouldn't have walked right into my video. <laughs> And for your shocking pleasure, I got this game online called Lightning Reaction Reloaded, which has most features we need. Although it's not sponsored, I'm not responsible for your electrocutions at home. <laughs> so it has four handles with buttons. I don't want this. And want this. you turn it on and set the intensity to maximum. <laughs> then when I press this button, it plays a sound. And when the sound stops, the first person to play their button wins and the rest get a shock. Okay. Let's go. Okay. What is that? <laughs> Let's go. What do I do? Just be first. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> god I got a shot! Got it. Who I didn't, didn't get a shot? I just dropped it. I didn't get it. Oh, you didn't get it. You got shocked. I got shot. But you, you didn't get a shot? I just. I you got shot. You didn't get a shot. I didn't get shot. Why did you drop it then? I, yeah, so much. I did it. Okay, that's it. We have to play again. No, Let's go. <laughs> no, I won. I won. No, I want to win. Okay. Oh, come on! <laughs> Ow! God, I got it again! Yes, Who? Oh, she won! You got it again! <laughs> I don't like this game. I like it. No, I don't like this game at all. I hate By getting shocked. Sure. Why am I here? It is so close, yet so far. It needs proper indicators like this. Can we have this, but no shocking? But I want the music. Yes, yes, the music is good. No shot, more music. Hmm? And the host gets a button to reset the game. Okay. And you better not press your buttons while the host is reading the question. Okay. Then the game decides who pushed the button first mm -hmm. and punishes the no. slow losers no by electrocution. No kissing, no. just electrocution. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just there's so much work to do. Go back to your shenanigans. Okay. Chop, chop, chop. Go. Chop, chop. So what I need is, let's say we have a maximum of three players and a host. If the host keeps its signal high during reading the question, for example, everyone else must shut up and stay low. Otherwise, they would get a shock. Now, there would be a circuit to detect who pushes their button first. The host signal would also reset that circuit. And as soon as the host releases their button, the first person to press their button must be recorded and all further inputs must be blocked. And all the slow losers should also get a shock. That requires me to put a bunch of digital circuits together. Lucky for you, my sponsor Brilliant has a whole new series of lessons on digital circuits added to the thousands of interactive lessons they already have on math, science, and computing. Now is a good time to learn all about it, starting for free by signing up at brilliant.org slash electroboom. More at the end. Let's see what's inside this thing. <laughs> this is funny. Warning! This product is not a toy. Game function. So it's not a toy. It's a game. Such is life. 
So here it is. This is the microcontroller for the toy. This is not a toy. That is a chip on board. They just put the chip directly on the board and put some glue on it. This knob turns on the game and increases the intensity of the shocks. And uh, where is the... There there are the inductor and the capacitor that create the high voltage. For when this scary timer expires to shock the <laughs> Fascinating. As soon as you turn on the timer, there is like 156 volts DC on the board. This is not a toy. It's interesting. They prime a high voltage DC as soon as you start the timer. But as you can see on the scope, there's nothing on the output yet until they decide to shock somebody, I guess. There you go, high voltage spikes as high as over 150 volts with a very short pulse duration of a couple of milliseconds and a period of around 23 milliseconds. See, this handle is made of two separate metals that the high voltage between them shocks you when you grab it. And when I start the timer, there is already 150 volts on one of them. But it doesn't shock me because if I look at the voltage of the other plate, you see it's absolutely floating. The very high resistance of my body is enough to connect the two plates and raise the voltage high. Ouch! I just put a 100 kilo ohm resistor between the two pieces of metal to act as my body so I wouldn't have to sacrifice myself. Now we can safely look at the voltage. This is the floating plate that is high right now because it's pulled up by the 100 kilo ohm resistor. You see? This is how it shocks you, with pulses that are around 23 milliseconds apart and only 200 microseconds wide. Imagine those pulses were wider. It would be much more painful. Let me explain to you how it works. Unlike a regular shocker toy that <sighs> creates high voltage pulses directly by switching an inductor on and off, charging it with high current and discharging a high voltage, this not a toy game, uses the same circuit to create a single high voltage DC connected to half of all handles. Then when it wants to shock someone, it connects the other half of the handle to circuit ground on and off, placing high voltage pulses across your hand. It is a smart design because instead of repeating four pulse generator circuits for all users, you only need one. Now, since I like to run my own logic, I can cut the signals from the existing board controller and build a digital circuit from discrete components and connect it up. Use me. Plug me in. Connect me up. Then all you need to do is to write software. Let's do it. I guess what we do now is to cut this controller out of the board and insert our own. So I have some of these buttons that I want to hack into and connect my own wire to. The tiny board in the buzzer has a power connection which I connect to the shocker game to power, a switch input to trigger the buzzer and an LED and a speaker to run when the switch is pressed. I disconnect the buzzer switch and put it in parallel to my shocker handle switch and send it to my controller board to detect and also a signal from the controller to the buzzer board's X switch input to trigger it and make use of the light and sound as needed. This way the users have the option of holding this handle and play this button to get shocked or if they don't want to get shocked they can just press on these buttons. I cut my USB cable to do this. They better appreciate it. So my microcontroller and buzzers are powered from the batteries of the main game. The controller receives three player switch inputs which I also diode OR and feed into an interrupt input. So as soon as someone presses a button, I read and record them. There is a host button input to cycle through the game states and three outputs to trigger the buzzer, light and sounds as needed. I also need one PWM line to run the high voltage circuit and three PWM lines to generate pulses that shocks the players. Let's put them together. Well, I wired everything up. Now I guess I have to program and see if it works. Damn it! Programming.
thing. If the hardware works, the cool thing about the software is that it is flexible in terms of adding and removing features and functionalities rather than a fixed digital circuit with a single function. Now, we hot glue the hell out of all the loose wires. And it's done! Three player buttons and one host all powered from the same base and you can turn it on with the same knob <laughs> and increase the shock level by that knob too. To play the game the host will push and hold this button and uh, let's see while they are reading the question if somebody presses their button early <laughs> They'll be shocked! They must press their button as soon as the host button is released, in which case their light turns on, they won't get a shock, but everyone else will get a shock as a punishment for being too slow. And the program keeps going through the same cycle. Of course I made it such that instead of getting shocked by using these handles, you can just press the buttons and don't get shocked, but what's the point of not getting shocked and punished? It is the shock that makes the game fun! And of course the whole point of this system is that the person with the fastest reaction time only shows up and the rest won't. So no more fighting but shocking punishments! <laughs> now let's go make them play this game! Hello everyone, welcome to Electroboom's shocking trivia show where I'm the real winner. I hate this game. Well, too bad. Are you ready everyone? No, no, no not at all. Good. I'm going to ask you a few electrical questions. I know nothing about electrical stuff. Uh, th that's fine. <laughs> that, I, like I said, I'm the real winner. So everyone who presses their button first can answer the question and I'm sorry for the rest. Sorry for the rest? Jawab ino آره من دوز نفرشم ولی اینو نه این روی این نمیزنه نه اونو نه همون چیزتون گرفت واقعا دیگه دیگه اوه ام سو سار نه نه اوکی اوکی نه شوکش با حاله شوکش خیلی خوبه question one who invented the light bulb منو شرا برخ گرفت I was first I didn't get electric I didn't get electric you have to wait for me to release the button you push too soon you, you push yeah. too soon. You wait for me to finish the question. Who invented the light bulb? Thomas Edison? Someone else. <laughs> Why did I get a city electrocuted? <laughs> you are not paying attention. I haven't released the button yet. You Someone have to wait. Else. You can't answer yet. Stop jumping the gun. <laughs> Look at the button. When I release it, you can press the okay. button. We can't see when you release it. Now we can see the button. Okay, ready? Okay, ready. Go! Ah! <laughs> I didn't release the button! You don't pay attention! How many times do I have to tell you? This game sucks! <laughs> Ready? One last time. <laughs> Good job! Thank so, you. What's thank the answer? You. Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison. I wasn't holding the button anymore. <laughs> hold the, ho hold your button again? No. I hold it. Not, I told you to. Hold your button. <laughs> Who was it then? It was somebody else. Really? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there like before Thomas Edison, there were a bunch of scientists that came up with the idea of the electrical light. Thomas Edison was the first person who improved it, did a lot of research on it, increased the lifetime of the light bulb and commercialized it. Oh, he didn't actually okay. invent the light bulb. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I had no idea and I got punished. Oh, you got punished? Yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Get up to now, I guess sir. Ah! <laughs> and that's your punishment for running away from my punishment. You never run away from my punishments. I hate this game. Something I added to this game that I didn't tell these guys is that I can punish them if I like. Like I do a single click, the first person gets zapped. Double click. Oh, that's the so second cool. person. Oh triple click. The first, God. third person. That's crazy. That's <laughs> yes. so cool. So that's why I'm the winner. You you can hold it now. Don't worry. Are you, Are you sure? I don't want to. Yeah. No. No. It's fun. It's hold okay. it. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. Second question. Oh Who was God. the best scientist of all time? Sir Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein, Edmund Halley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so much faster than you guys. <laughs> you, you got it again? Good. So what is the answer? I, 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 Einstein? 
<laughs> it was wrong again. No. <laughs> Newton. Well, I mean, you can't answer anymore. Okay, uh, it's answer. up to these two. I, I hold it again. Yes. Now you two can see which one goes first. Oh, why is that like I'm like, holding the button. Pay attention, attention for really? God's sake. Ready? Ah! Nice. <laughs> you Mehdi got it. <laughs> of course, I'm always <laughs> the best. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> so, okay, I guess you can answer. He was wrong. It's Tesla. Are you holding your... <laughs> <laughs> Newton. Newton is... No. In my opinion, it was Edmond Halley. Who, who the, was who Edmond, Edmond Halley? Halley? I've never heard of Edmond Halley in my life. <laughs> exactly. He was actually an accomplished scientist himself. But the most important thing he did was that he actually discovered Sir Isaac Newton that was working in his basement, discovering all these new things, and nobody knew about him. Holly found him, spent his own money to publish Isaac Newton, oh, and he credited that. him, and he brought his science to the world. He was this selfless guy that, you know, really cared about science. That's, That's why so cool. I think he was the best scientist of all time. I learned something today. Can I now, go home now? Now hold your button now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's the sponsor of this video? <laughs> Who got first? I'm so good at this game. You again? Brilliant! Brilliant! You're right! In this video, I talked about digital circuits, programming, electrical circuits, all of which you can make yourselves familiar with through Brilliant's interactive lessons. Learning all sorts of seemingly complex concepts has been made so easy for you over there. Do you have a phone? I also assume you have a brain. Then just slap Brilliance app on your phone and kick a portion of your bad habit of endless scrolls into 10 to 15 minutes of a daily habit of filling your brain with the knowledge that can actually make a difference for you. Uh, starting for free using my link brilliant.org slash electroboom. There you will encounter thousands of lessons on math, science, computing, data analysis, AI and more made by an award-winning team of big brain people designed to be way more efficient in teaching and helping maintain the information through interactivity. And just like that, not only you learn, but also you build your critical thinking skills through problem solving. You start from where you are and keep advancing through all these quality fun lessons and you will stay receiving 20% off their annual premium subscription through my link brilliant.org slash electroboom because investing in yourselves is the best investment out there how do you feel about the thing I made for you? I really like it. Awesome. Very good. It was fun. <laughs> well, I mean, if you don't want to get shocked, first of all, if you don't know the answer, you can just drop the handle down. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah. When there's electricity, you let go. That's the, that's the main thing about electricity. <laughs> 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 or you can play with the buttons that I put in front of you. You don't need to so hold no the shocking shock. handle. Okay. Yeah, you just okay. you can just tap on the buttons. But What's the fun in that? You need to get shocked. Well, thank you for watching the video and make sure to subscribe to Kumon and all thank their you. various thank channels. So we love you. We love being on your channel, <laughs> even, the, even though you shock us every time. Well, thank you. We're it's still fun to be uh, uh, in the video where you get shocked, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, take care. Thank you, everyone. Bye. No kissing.